All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one, the only, Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose <laughs> Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buff, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Pedro, the young Polish guy, Munoz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your point. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. 
a lot of times those shots to the heads will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Punch over the top. Nice head kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank, and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody going to sleep. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Whiffs on that offering. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, connects with the one-two. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Aldo. Slips. Ooh, head kick lands. Earth fighters exchange in the pocket here. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Missed with that right hand. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving so. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Digging kick. Lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Head kick. That shot is blocked by Alda. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. What a point. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That was lightning fast, that right hand. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes have landed for Jose Allen. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big leg kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Body shot there. Ooh, what a head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good stick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters would try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. Yeah, two very talented fighters 
Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Checks that leg kick. Just missed with the elbow there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And he caught the kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! Aldo going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, big punch land. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Still nice body kick land. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice jab. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Back and forth we go! Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Effective strike there by Alba. Three minutes to go. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Real sneaky body kick. Got clip with the right hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just misses with the straight left hand. He's got the turtle in that kick. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice strike. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Misses with the right hand. Avoid the right. Great punch landing with so much power. Aldo gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Missed with that attempt. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice defense there, huge block. Straight punch lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Final seconds here of round number two. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not pretty good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Aldo. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Beautiful strike. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Good punch. Just over three minutes to go. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Both fighters throwing heat now. Trying to double up on that jab. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Big kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Huge block there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just out of range with the big right hand. 
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. That's a big strike right there. Ten seconds to go in the round. Strips the body there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the strip. This is what happened. It's very skilled, very... Oh! Oh! Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice straight punch. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Aldo. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He missed with that jab attempt. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Not there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Back and forth we go. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice punch by Alba. Nice leg kick. He lands with the left. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice loop and punch. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Aldo gets hit with a kick. Right hand on point. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Head kick. Aldo's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Great punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just miss with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Nice leg kick land. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. 
Big punch lands. Final minute. Lands flush with that right hand. They continue to exchange. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice knee to the midsection there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Aldo's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, well that's the end of the round. So the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Beautiful punch. Aldo gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Real quick leg kick. Big kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, slips the offering there, and then rips back at the target. Boom! Beautiful body. One-two there by Aldo. Connects with the right. Leg kick. Nice. Left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Whips on the straight right hand. That strike blocked by Aldo. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Circling to his right. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, Risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, diving punch lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Trying to recover full guard there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. Plans the right hand. Checks the leg kick. Oh, 
strong punch there by Aldo. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Some nice back and forth action here. Trying to establish that jab once again. And they separate. Visibly limping here. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Aldis. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. He got him with his hip into that kick. 30 seconds to go. Just missed with the left there. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Jose Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.